Hey everybody, this is Try Dying to Live here playing Kerbal Space Program. This is tutorial number one. We're not quite getting into the gameplay yet. We're actually going to get into settings a little bit. You might say, why settings? Because uh, some of the questions I get frequently are, my game's kind of running slow. What can I do to make it go faster? My game doesn't look as cool as yours, Try Dying to Live. What can I make it do to look cooler? And that's all within the settings. So we're going to kind of look at some of the settings I choose um, as well as what you can do to make your game look better or run faster. And usually those two are mutually exclusive. You can make it run better or make it look better, but not always the same. So we're going to look at a few things. So first off, uh, under gameplay, we will keep show vessel labels on. But we'll go ahead and turn show flight tutorial and show VAB tutorial off. You can leave them on or not, but reality... You're going to watch my videos. You're going to learn so much more than clicking through um, a menu. Now, you can run the tutorials. They aren't, they aren't bad. Um, they will help you out, but I generally disable them just because, um, you know, I, just, I, like, I don't want to click through the little buttons and stuff. So I, I just disable them. Check game updates on startup. Woohoo! Newest version of the game. Always important. Show stats tracking dialogue on startup. That's for actually squad, and it's just the first time you run the game, it'll say, "Can we? do you mind if we track your IP, um, track how your system is so we can make the game better? Um, and it, it just does that in the background regardless. However, it'll only send your IP if you accept it, and it'll it just, just disable it. Don't worry about it. It's probably already disabled when you get here. Simulate in the background. Now, this is all the debris and all the spaceships. If they're going to keep orbiting while you're kind of, you know, making your ship or not. Um, and you can say, yeah, please keep those running in the background or please don't. I usually keep it simulated in the background. And max persistent debris. Now, this is one of those things that will make your game run faster or slower. If you do unlimited or a very high number, you will actually make your game run slower if, the, if your computer can't handle it. And that's generally CPU based. So if you have a slow CPU... You might turn that to 0 or 25 or, you know, I think the default is 100, um, but I just keep it unlimited because I'm usually deleting my world before it becomes an issue. Now, it will actually slow down your system eventually because you'll be saving to your hard drive and whatnot and your game will kind of freeze momentarily, but, uh, you know, whatever. Set it however you want. If, you're, if you notice, like, the game kind of freezes when you, when you start saving, you might remove some debris. You might just actually just start deleting debris in game or just start with a new, you know, universe map. Let's go to input. Now input I generally keep the same. The only thing that I do change is uh, with the, pre the precision controls that translate up and down, left, right, forward, back that you would use with the RCS. Um, I take it back. Precision control is something else. So the RCS controls um, where you're translating, where you're moving side to side, forward and back and whatnot. I generally like to add a keypad to that. It helps out. Um, sometimes I like to keep one hand over here and one hand over here. And you can't really see my hands, but you get the idea. All right, so graphics. Oh, also, I should probably pop, point out down here is um, these axis controls around here. These are all for if you have a joystick. So if you got a joystick, this is kind of the thing that you're going to use to help kind of control your ship and, and map out your controls and, and set everything how you like it. Now, graphics, you got uh, scenery, which is your terrain detail, which obviously uh, it sits at default. <laughs> Fast, the higher you go, the slower your system's going to run. The slower you go, the more, you know, the, the faster your system, the more easily it's going to keep up. So if you're having trouble, set that to default. Or if you're having trouble, you should set it lower. If you want a little better looking, set it to high. SM3 terrain scatterers, these are enabled by default. If you have a newer graphics card the last few years, go ahead and enable that. Um, that stands for shader model. Um, however, if you have an older computer with an older graphics card, just go ahead and disable that, especially if your, your system's not running or having trouble. That'll just help your, your system. It'll, it falls back to an older style of uh, shading everything, which will be compatible with your graphics card, which I believe is actually shader model number two. Surprise. Anyways, terrain scatterers. This is Therese. Um, this is rocks. This is bushes on the ground. Totally optional. We'll make your system run slower. Default is actually disabled. Um, but if you ever see my videos and you're like, why do you have trees and I don't? It's because I have terrain scatterers on. Now, mind you, WIP stands for work in progress, which means that these things are not done yet. They're still working on this. Um, but, you know, whatever. Looks great. 
Screen resolution. I set mine as high as I can because it looks the best, makes for the greatest video. If I'm running a 1080p video, I play in 1080p. Now, it'll look better the higher resolution you have. However, your computer will run slower. So, for example, on my desktop here, I run Max. On my laptop, however, sometimes I'll mess around and I'll set this all the way. It's a lot of clicks, by the way, all the way to the, bo the bottom there. Um, one thing to note is you may actually have to restart your uh, game after you change the screen resolution. It usually does okay from going from a low to a high. However, from a high to a low usually uh, requires a reset. And full screen is another little thing you can do. Now, I usually play in windowed mode because I like to flip between the web browser, for apps, and whatnot. However, if you run full screen, your system will run a little faster with the game. So that is something to pay attention to. Anti-aliasing, which is um, around the edges of the models, how much of the jagginess uh, of the pixels will be smoothed out. The higher this is, the more smoother it will be, but your system will run slower. And this is very much dependent on your graphics card. So if you have a weak graphics card, turning that down is going to help a lot. If you have a strong graphics card, turning that up is going to make things look better. Um, everything else, you know, how your resolution of your, of your textures, um, that's going to help on some of your uh, graphics memory as well as uh, the speed. All this stuff, I really don't worry about it. Shadow cascades, you can turn down the shadows. Um, and there's fallback part shaders, which is if your system's not rendering the parts right, click that button there and, and switch that. And that obviously apparently requires a game to start. But I'm going to go ahead and, oh, actually, and then finally, audio. I set these to zero. Their default's 100%. Usually it helps to turn them down just a little bit just because they're so loud sometimes. Uh, but I like to turn it down a little bit, all the clicks and things like that. So if I'm playing by myself and not recording, I'll, I'll turn it to there. Um, but otherwise, I turn everything pretty much to zero so that you can hear me and not... And the normalizer, keep that on. That just makes all the sound from not stacking on each other, but it stays kind of uh, equal. I'm going to go ahead and cancel because I want actually my settings to be saved. Um, and so there's the settings right there. You can check for updates. So you run your update check. We got the latest version. If you do, don't have the latest version, you click update. It'll give you a little patcher program. You enter your username, your password in there. It'll update it for you. Anyways, so that is uh, how to change the settings in KSP. Um, obviously, we're in version 15.2, point 15.2, I should say. In the meantime, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and we're going to keep doing this, and we're going we're gonna to keep adding more tutorials so that you can get to play this awesome game called KSP. Hey, see you guys next time.